Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to see one interesting interview scenario that was asked. That is, you know, getting uh, the metric based on another selected thing. As you can see on my screen, if user selects current year, your view should display the sales for current year. If you are selecting previous year, your calculation should automatically, you know, update it to show for previous year. And if you're selecting rolling 12, it should show for the last 12 months sale. So that is the requirement or the ask that was asked in the interview. And, you know, if you're doing at this level, then I think, you know, you, you need not worry uh, in the interview. So let us get started and see how we can solve that. And while doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do not forget to comment guys because it is very important because that is how i will be know you know how many of you are watching how many of you are getting like that okay so to show you if you see here if i am selecting current year it is displaying for current year and if i am selecting previous year it is rolling back to previous year and if i am selecting rolling 12 it is for rolling 12 sales okay so i've created a very basic uh simple view but what is important here is the calculation that we have written so to do that let us start from the scratch okay so first i'm checking what is the data that i have here and that is what we need to check in real time how is your data aligned okay so sometimes you know your latest data can be see there can be though two requirements here one client might tell that you know maximum year that i have in my database can be your current year that is one possible use case okay and second possible use case is he will tell that you know if you are in 2023 your db will be updated to 2023 only so that is current year for us so here in this case we can use today as a reference because that is the that is what will refer to current year so in that way also we can you know get confirmation from the client and you know work on our log logic here so because we do not have a data for uh the current year so what i'm doing is i'm just writing uh, a simple calculation as current year here and uh, what i'm doing is i'm taking date add here using date add function i'm just adding one to my existing year here of order date so that will bring my data to current year so if I uh, remove this and if I take current year, you will see it is showing data till 2023. Okay, perfect. Now let us write down the calculation to get the current year sales. Okay, so what I'm doing is CY sales here. And so first we need to find out the year. So where can we get the current year? What is the base? Today is the base for us. So from today, what will we get? will get today's date but what we need from today's date we need year from today's date that can be considered as current year so this is first thing that we need to understand when we are writing the calculation okay done now what i'm doing i'm writing year of my today so what will we get from this so when i say today function it will return today's date which is 23 3 23 okay now from that i need year part of that today function today date so which means 2023 okay if okay so first let us write this and i'm just taking this on the view to clarify you and uh, here if i take see it is displaying 2023 we got year of this now i want if my year of today is equal to my current year then give me sales with respect to that and i'm ending it simple okay so now i'm just wrapping all of this sorry so here here and here also here i need to do I'm just aggregating in the calculation itself. So if at all you want to aggregate in a different level, you can do that. 
and you can try to write this in different ways also maybe using lod expressions also you can try okay so that will also work i'm just i'm displaying it apply okay let us remove this and if i try to draw again drop it here you see it is currently displaying sales for our current year which is maximum here in my database and 745 likewise now i'm trying to build a logic for my previous year sales so i'm just duplicating this and i'm just editing my calculation here and uh, now if you observe here my year of today which means what we will get current year but we want to go back to our previous year from our current year which means from maximum year i want to go back one year back okay so which is technically 2022 for us now what i am doing here if my year of today minus one here so now what will happen here this will become 2022 so if this 2022 is equal to 2022 here then return me sales simple click on apply okay so i'm just removing this and i'll just take py sales here and drop it here see here it is displaying for 2022 two things ready now i want to display sales for rolling 12 okay so just to build the view and to write a calculation what i'm doing is i'm taking my year of current year i've taken and the same thing i want to take it at a month level so that we can make sure our calculation is working fine so what is the uh, rolling 12 means what from our current month we need sales for last 12 months that is the expectation here so i'm just trying to write a calculation here and i'm writing r12m okay now if so first we need to find out date difference here right date difference of month part i need right because we are cal calculating last 12 months so i'm taking month from where from our current year and from our today sorry it should be today comma month sorry today comma current year now let us see what this will return first and then maybe we'll try to build it again so i'm just taking this and dropping it here and uh, okay so this is not giving difference here maybe we need to convert it into dimension i'll write it now see here we'll go to 23 here now observe this calculation what is happening we are in march currently so which means march minus march is becoming zero so if i go back it is february minus one minus two minus three till here we need right so if date difference is less than or equal to 12 okay let us see what we will get here or if i write like this what will happen let us see now just you know i'm correcting the numbers here instead of negative values i got positive values here that's it so previous month means here technically the difference is one so it is displaying one if it is january two months from our march so it is doing that now we need last 12 months which means from march we need till here right so i'm simply writing uh so maybe i'll keep it like this only and i'll just duplicate this and uh, and i will just edit this calculation and i will write less than or equal to 12 or less than 12 i'll write because i need last 12 months i'll take apply and maybe i'll just add it here so to, to see what is the value we are getting now observe here anything above 11 is becoming you know false or this will get filtered out when we are writing a calculation but let us see but if you observe here because minus one minus two minus three these are also we are getting into in in our condition because here we are writing less than 12. now think and tell me how we can fix these issues because 
there is a probability that you might have future dates also in your database. Now, how are we going to fix that? Okay, so stop the video here and comment it. What is the condition that we can write here to fix this? Very common issue that we face in real time. So what I'm doing is I'm writing a simple and condition and I want my difference to be greater than zero simple so now what will happen all of this will get eliminated let us see now see this is also becoming false but now observe here carefully observe march is also becoming false but we need march also because this is our current month right technically so how can we fix this again okay comment the comment in the video and let me know so the simple check is I want zero to be considered so I can write greater than or equal to zero simple. Now only this is becoming true. See now how many we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got 12 months here technically. So this is the perfect condition for us. Now on top of this I'm writing a simple if statement. If I'm putting these two conditions in one common bracket and then give me sales and it okay and on top of it i'm writing some because if you remember our previous calculations we have aggregated in the calculation field itself i am doing the same to maintain the consistency that's it okay click on apply okay now if i remove all of this and if i take our R12 copy, where is it? If I take it, we are getting sales for our, this is for rolling 12 here. Okay, so I'll just write or edit this. Okay, apply, okay, done. So now our calculations are ready. Now I want this to be controlled with respect to a parameter. So I'm creating a parameter here and uh, I'm calling it as select metric to display something I'm writing name. You can give whatever you want and I'm data type. I'm just choosing as integer. Maybe you can choose as a string, whatever you want and I can write, but I'm choosing the integer and i'm just giving three values here one two and three and here i'm writing it as uh, current year sales and the previous year sales previous year previous year sales and and rolling 12 sales and this this okay so let us write uh, and uh, click okay so now if i show this parameter if i select current year it should display my current year sales if i select previous year it should display previous year if i select r12 sales it should be r12 sales okay now simple very simple calculation because our base calculations we have written we just need to bring or call that here and uh, metric to display okay and i'm calling it as case of my parameter here if sorry when one then it is current year sales so i'm calling that when it is two then it is previous year sales so i'm calling that and when it is three then it is rolling 12 i'm calling that okay done so we are ready with our calculations so whenever i select current year it will display this whenever i'm selecting previous year it will display this wherever i'm selecting r12 it should display this apply okay now i'm just taking category or whatever you want you can build 
and I'm just taking the calculation that we have written here, so p dot yeah, and I'm just writing it here. Now, when I select current year sales, these are our current year. When I'm selecting previous year, this is this one. And if I'm selecting rolling 12, this is rolling 12 sales with respect to category. So that's how we can calculate. So the important concept here is how we can bring the three calculations here in this. So you can use it however you want. But concept here is something that is very important from real time perspective also, because in many situations we tend to create. So not only only current year or previous year or R12, we might implement anything like YTD, MTD or R12 also, one of the common use cases. So try to learn from this video. I hope this video was useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe guys. And don't forget to comment. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.